Nolan King here for MMA Junkie, and I'm being joined by the UFC's Journey Newson. Journey, how you doing, man? Are you surviving this quarantine all right? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Um, just trying to stay busy and stay active as best as possible. For sure, man. And what's the day-to-day -day like for you now? Are you getting in training? Do you have uh, some fighters, minimal amount of fighters have access to a facility? Or are you kind of backyarding it, or do you have access to, to a gym? I do have access uh, to my gym. Um, I am pretty... I'm staying pretty active. Uh, I know that, you know, the pandemic is kind of slowing things down, but this is kind of the time where UFC fighters or any, any fighter just kind of kick it into gear because we never know if some dudes are just kind of chilling and taking this time to relax. So I'm kind of trying to take this opportunity as best as possible to uh, uh, just, just gain my um, performance strength. Yeah, for sure, man. And let, let's take you back to your last fight, uh, UFC 247. You took on Domingo Pilarte. You got a big knockout, and then it comes out that that the uh, commission flagged you for for marijuana use. So, did that come as a surprise to you? Was it when when you got that 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 uh, you know notification from the commission? Were you, were you surprised? Or were you like, ah, I, I see where that came from, and and nothing I can do about it. I was I was kind of surprised, but um, yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. It already happened. Um, it really didn't matter too much to me because um, I'm not about my 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 record. My, I'm not trying to focus on a perfect record or anything. Um, I'm just trying to make a good living out of this and just try to build my assets off of it. Yeah, and so there was no uh, thought in your mind, hey, maybe I'll challenge this or drag this out. You kind of just accepted it for what it is. Well, the thing, yeah, the thing is, uh, I mean, it's not like I was down in Texas, you know, smoking, you know, up and downtown. Yeah. Um, it, I was, I, I took like two weeks off from, uh, from smoking and, uh, you know, with the weight cut and everything, I figured it would all be out of my system by then, but, uh, it wasn't. And we ended up getting popped for it. It's fine. It happens. Uh, it's kind of a blessing in disguise really because that knockout could have got me 50 grand, you know, an extra 50 grand. So the fact that I didn't get that, 50 grand because you know there's i think two more knockouts you know right after uh right after my knockout so those two plus a decision uh they got the 50 grand so i'm glad that that didn't happen you know i get the 50 grand but then it gets taken right back out of my uh wallet so it's kind of a blessing in disguise i don't care yeah, about yeah. The, i don't care about the win overturn that's that's fine uh we'll make sure it won't happen again i already you know tell my manager it's all right well it won't happen again. Um, I'm not a big fan of Texas, and I told my manager that I probably won't fight in Texas because of it. Um, their their laws are pretty stupid, and they're and they're pretty slow with it. Uh, <clears throat> you know, there we have a lot of states here that are, especially my state in Oregon, that are they're legalizing weed. Um, and the fact that they're still, you know, kind of sitting back, and they have all these. Uh, uh, prohibitions on it, it kind of it just kind of sucks yeah for sure and you're not the first one to, to run an issue with uh with the texas commission for their low threshold so uh you said it right there you, you feel like texas going forward maybe should revisit those laws and, and kind of get up to par with all the other states because like i said it's it's known to, to have this issue where fighters have the most minuscule amounts in their system and it, it ends up you know costing them money or, or wins or whatever yeah and I, i'm not too sure how this you know boosts my performance i'm not quite sure how this really boosts my performance and uh i like to you know talk to someone or if you know anything about how marijuana boosts your performance it just doesn't make any sense especially when you know you know i still took two weeks off it was still in my system it wasn't even like they found like a lot it was probably like 0.78 or something like that i gotta look at the uh the documents but um I, i'm just not too sure how that can boost my performance you know if anything i should slow down my performance yeah, it beats me, man. It's, you got to ask somebody out. So I'm not, uh, I'm not too informed, but I feel where you're coming from. You're, you're definitely not the only fighter that's, uh, that's felt that same way. So uh, you, you talked a minute ago, you said it's kind of blessing in disguise because of the bonus situation. But I think it's also kind of a blessing in disguise in that a lot of fighters aren't going to be able to fight for a few months here. So uh, do, do you feel like that, that you kind of lucked out in that regard, too, that we're in this, this lull of time where, uh, you know, there, there was a delay in fights and, and it might be harder to get a fight now anyways? Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's true too. Um, the the second thing is that uh, we're kind of at a pause right now, and days are just kind of you know going and going and going. So this is this is good for me. Um, I was already uh, suspended because of the uh, jaw injury, or 
yeah, like I had a fracture up here, so I was already suspended for that. So now that the days are going and we're taking a pause, uh, it, it definitely is another blessing in disguise that um, I'm sitting here on a three month suspension or I don't know how long this suspension is uh, really, but um, the, day, the days are passing. You know, it's, these are two blessings in disguise, how I see it, because I really don't give a shit about my uh, my record. Yeah, and and uh, you know, going along with that, you're talking about the jaw injury. How's that coming along? Is it feeling better? You know, if, if say say you weren't suspended, what would your return timetable look like for you? Uh, I I could return now, honestly, if I wasn't suspended. If they had me on, uh, I think there's like a May card. Like I I'd fight on that card. My my jaws. Uh, the doctor basically cleared me to fight. I'm pretty sure he already sent that information to. Uh, UFC, uh, I, I'm staying active still, uh, conditioning's pretty good, and um, honestly, I could take a fight, you know, within the next month. Yeah, for sure, and, and you know, talking about the when the suspension comes to an end, are you, are you thinking about what's next? You you know, like you said, you're, you're ready to fight now, so uh, are you trying to uh, get back as soon as possible? Is there any opponents you want? Uh, fight Island, maybe, a potential uh, journey for you? Yeah, yeah. Um, there's there's no opponents in my mind or you know in the future I fight whoever uh, they they tell me to fight that's basically how I go um, I'm just looking to get back in the cage man no doubt man and, and I really appreciate you taking the time out to chat today and whenever you do come back I wish you the best of luck so appreciate it Journey yeah dude thank you I appreciate it thanks for your time. Thanks.